Hey there everyone, my name is Nam Pham and in this video I'll be installing the flight controller. So this flight controller that I've chosen is the Omnibus F4 V3S Plus flight controller. It has an SD card slot here so that you can do some black box recording which is helpful for checking out flight characteristics, um, any issues with your ESEs or motors and also to tune your PIDs um, more finely. It also has a barometer to check your altitude and also on-screen display so you can get some of the details of the flight controller presented onto your goggles as you're flying. So let's go ahead and install it. So I've got already the gummies that are installed on here so I've just squeezed them on like I did with the ESCs. And uh, what I like to do, like I showed you in the ESC installation, is to check that the wires that are going to be installed is the right direction. Um, the, although these clips actually do go in only in one direction, I just like to check and double check just to make sure that they're correct so I'm not forcing it in the wrong way. So here you can see that it does say GND here, which is ground and no connection over here with NC. So just looking at the wire harness here, you have the black wire right there and that should be the ground. So I should be inserting it this way and it shouldn't be too hard to insert. There you go, went in quite easily, not too bad. And so I'd like to have the wires sitting underneath the ESE or in between the ESE and the flight controller. So just twisting it like this, they kind of just fold in naturally. All right, so one thing to also note is on the flight controller, there is an arrow here. Most flight controllers have them to tell you which direction to install the flight controller uh, onto the frame. So the front of the quad is up here. So I'm making it point forward that way there. All right, so we've got the flight controller on, but we need to also get the screws to secure it in now. The flight controller and the ESC stack does come with these nylon lock nuts quite common but the problem is because I use the nuts the nylon nuts here to secure the stack screws on a bit more firmly onto the frame it's taken away a bit of the stack screw from the top so I'm going to improvise here and I've got these M3 stainless steel nuts and they'll be able to fit on there quite nicely I think it's the right depth but nothing is going to hold it or stop it from vibrating right off it so I've actually got a bit of Loctite here thread locker um, so I'm actually going to apply someone here and inside the inside the nut so that I can install it so just using my handy pointer stick here I can get some of this put it on top Get it on a few of them. I have to run down the side onto the thread, of course. But I'm just putting some on top so that it can get onto this, this the nut. I might put it some on the inside of this as well, just so it can hold. All right. So just turning this around and putting this on. So I should be able to push down on the flight controller and turn that since the gummies are going to compress and there's one of them so I'll put this on the side grab another one actually I should put some in here as well okay so now that we have the flight controller installed onto the quadcopter and the, it's connected to the ESC. And the next step is to test it out. As I mentioned, I like to test things out as I go along, just to make sure that everything that I'm putting together, the last component that I put in, is put in correctly and is working so I don't have to go and debug multiple steps. So I'm going to use the trusty um, smart smoke stopper from Vi um, Vifly, or Vfly, however you pronounce that. So I'm just going to plug it in here. 
the quadcopter. And of course, the battery. Get this out of the way. And plugging in the battery in the right direction. I should see that the smoke stopper does go into the uh, standby mode there. And I'm going to activate it by pressing this button here. So here we go. Three, two, one. There you go. So those are the tunes that you want to hear. The first three tones there is, of course, from you uh, from what you heard in the last video, is the ESCs uh, booting up and vibrating the motors, telling it that it is ready. And then the last two tones is the flight controller then saying that it's ready to go. It's booted up and everything's good. Right now, it's got the two lights there, a blue light and the green light flashing, just saying that it is um, ready to go. So of course, nothing else is installed, but at least it is now ready with the flight controller. So um, yeah, so that's uh, the installation of the flight controller. I hope you liked it or um, you learned something from it. Um, I'll put the description of, uh, yeah, sorry, I'll put the, uh, the links to the items in the description below. Any com comments or questions you have, please put it in down below and I'll try and get to it. And uh, thank you for listening. Cheers.